Welcome to this new course where we're going to learn how to make Yannick applications, which is the top open source framework for building amazing mobile apps. That's kind of what Yannick sells themselves on. And let's see if that's actually the case. When I look at Yannick here and I scroll down, this is, this is what actually a lot of company like about Yannick and what makes it a powerful framework that you can write your code once, right? So you can write some code and then you should be able to deploy it anywhere, meaning you should be able to convert that code into an iOS app, an Android app, a Windows phone app, some web browser, uh, Chrome for instance, some kind of web app in there, or even a desktop app using something called Electron. So we should only be able to, we should be able to write this one time and then we should be able to kind of compile it into different um, application types depending on where we want to place this. So if you kind of want to make an Android app, then you should be able to write this and convert it into an Android app. That's the goal. And how do they do this? Well, they use a lot of frameworks that's already popular out there, like Angular. So they're using Angular, which is a very popular framework right now. I made tutorials about Angular. You can go and watch those if you want to. You don't want, you don't need to. I'll try and kind of convert this so you don't have to go and watch the Angular tutorials to get started. You also have to use a language to write this and either you use TypeScript, I also think they support JavaScript. We're going to focus on TypeScript, right? Now TypeScript is just um, JavaScript with a bit more functionality. So it's kind of just um, an extension of JavaScript. So we're going to use this. It, it helps us get object oriented. It helps us get types in there so we can start writing some pretty amazing code. Um, and, and that's why we're going to use TypeScript. So you're going to have to learn that language as well. And then you're going to learn or have to learn a bit about HTML and CSS as well. So there's a bit of styling. There's a bit about the structure of the code. Like this, you have some tags, right? That's from HTML. You have some styling. That's kind of these different uh, item left, for instance. That means we need to pull the item to the left. So there's a lot of stuff there as well. Now, all of this is, of course, the framework prepared a lot of it for us. So we just need to understand how to use the framework. And that's kind of the goal of this lesson. But we also need to know a lot, a lot about the things around the framework, like how do we code it? Where do we code it? Do we need to know, use Notepad or Notepad++ or some text editor? What IDE should we use? We need to know how do we actually deploy this to a real application somewhere in the cloud. They have a link right here, the Yonic View app, right? You need to deploy this to the App Store, the Google Play or something at some point if you want to share this with the world, right? How do we do that? We need to understand how um, do we actually get data. If we don't want this to be just a local app, which is kind of not what we want anymore, we want this data to be stored somewhere on a cloud server somewhere, and then we want to be able to grab the data back using a REST API, something like that, you need to know that as well. So there's so much to learn. So we need to get started with all of this. And the next lesson, I'm just going to give you an overview of what we are going to build in our app, Yannick application. So now you know what Yannick is, and there's not a lot you don't know. So let's just start diving into this. Have fun. See you next time.